We're welcoming everyone back to Wrexham. Yay! The popular show combines Hollywood star power, soccer, and so much more, and it's back for season two. And we got the chance to sit down and talk with Humphrey Carr, who is the Wrexham AFC executive director. He told us all about what we can expect. Check it out. We are so excited to have you. Oh Nicole, we're big fans of the show. Nicole particularly is a huge fan of the show, yeah. as well as our, our producer, Becky. So we're so grateful that you're joining us. I, I've always heard that the three of you have great taste. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> oh, it, this show, it just, you know, it's that Cinderella story. It's that feel of, you know, a place that needs that help and needs to be lifted up. And then, you know, Ryan and Rob got in there and they did that. So my first question for you is, what is it like for this small town to gain the global attention and how are they dealing with that attention? I, I've been really impressed by how everyone in Wrexham is dealing with it because they're very, they've been incredibly welcoming. You know, I, I meet so many people at the stadium who've traveled in from the US or from Canada or Australia or from all over the globe. And, and absolutely to a man, woman and child, they've always told me that they've been astonished by how welcoming people have been. I've heard about people who have met over the internet, who've become friends on Twitter because they, they have a shared interest in Wrexham and people have invited folk to come and stay in their houses. They've gone and picked them up from the airport. They've done all sorts of things. So uh, it, it, I've been genuinely amazed by how welcoming everybody has been in Wrexham to, to all these influx of new fans. For, for those of us who might not know about the show, can you give us a quick synopsis? Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, <laughs> they bought this <laughs> team? Yeah. Yes. So yes, in, during during lockdown in in uh, in 2020, they they decided they wanted to buy a soccer team in the UK, and it was my job to to try and help them find one. And we we settled on Wrexham, and uh, they took over at a time when the town was, you know, had had kind of 20 years of of bad luck of uh, the coal mines closing, steel uh, uh, foundries closing, the the breweries closing. Lots of jobs going away and not so many jobs coming in, and and the, a football team that was at the heart of the community that was was kind of going through this steady decline, and Robin Ryan have come in and and helped to galvanise the football team and and by extension the town and and it's as I said Cinderella is a great uh, a great comparison to. Two handsome princes showed up <laughs> exactly. with, uh, with a, a helpful pumpkin to um, to help the people in town to. Uh, to go to the ball. I know, and your story is quite interesting as well. I Do you have any experience running a soccer team? No, no. Uh, simultaneously to this going on, I was also on a, a, as an actor on an NBC sitcom that no one saw <laughs> called American Auto. And uh, I was doing a lot of this kind of from my dressing room uh, on that show. And um, that's what I do by day is I'm a comedy writer and an actor. Um, uh, looking forward to getting back to work when the strikes end. Um, and um, yeah, I got this opportunity to come and do this and have been having the time of my life. Well, unfortunately, we have to let you go, but apparently you're the descendant on your father's side of political Henry Howard, the 18th Earl of Suffolk. How cool is that? Sure, yes. He did his research. It's the first time it's ever been mentioned in any context ever, so I'm going to say it's very cool. <laughs> now, Wrexham's in seventh place. How do you think the rest of the season's going to go really quick? Uh, we're quietly confident. We've got a long way to go, but we're, we're feeling good. Well, All thank right. you so much for joining us. We're feeling good talking to you. Thank you so much, Humphrey, for your time, and good luck. Thank you for having me. Thank you.